I'm closing up right now, but this was something that I was introduced to while I was in rehab by one of the counselors, and it's called the Gerald Warden's Bible. He was in jail, and he gave this to me. And basically, it is a jail warden came to him and said, well, you know, because you committed crimes, then basically that discounts you in your life. You're a violent man. You can't do anything. And then he brought to him the jail warden's Bible. And the jail warden Bible is every chapter in the Bible ripped out by someone who committed violent crimes, particularly acts of murder. So many of you don't know, Moses was a murderer. So let's rip out the book of Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, and Deuteronomy. Take that out of the Bible. God can't use him. He was a murderer. Then take out all of the Psalms because David was a murderer and an adulterer. And so he took out all the book of Psalms because God can't use him either. He's a murderer. And then, wait a minute, hold on. Let's take out all the letters that Paul writ. Let's rip them out of the Bible. Paul was a murderer. He killed Christians. He was a violent man. Oh, and let's not forget about Peter, who took out a knife and stabbed someone when Jesus got crucified. Got to take out the book of First and Second Peter, too. And so you see how ridiculous this is? Where everybody is getting canceled, yet a quarter of the Bible was written by murderers. Look at this, look at this book with, with the books of the Bible that were written out. It's a quarter of the Bible going with people that were murderers. And so this idea of canceling people because they done things in the past, it's crazy. I'm here to tell you today, and I'm closing right now. I don't care who you are, what you've done, where you've been, who your family is. Your past mistakes do not have to define you, no matter what culture says. God will not cancel you. God loves you, and He wants to give you a clean slate and a fresh start today.